All right, section 1.7, creating objects. So the new object commandlet is used to create an object. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? So let's follow it. What are we doing here? Let's look. We have a variable. We're using the new object function and we're doing the method system date time. Remember, system date time is just really the you know how the, the the form of that value like how does how that value is okay so watch when i do this new object system date time and i run it and then right below it i get the property of the value look you see something interesting January 1st, 0001, 12 a.m. It's basically all zeros. So because I only specified system date time, I did not actually specify now or what time I want. I just got the date time, just the default value. Okay. When you specify a parameter, so this is going to be a little bit different. We do the variable. We say we want this function. The method is the stream reader, argument list, file path. File path is the is what the the parameter I'm passing to the method. Okay, so I'm passing it to the method, right? That is using. the um sorry passing it to the method right argument list is a parameter okay so now that we know kind of that flow and file path that's what is re is necessary in order for stream reader to do what it needs to do it needs a file right so i'm actually going to copy this kind of really long so i'm going to copy this and i don't get an output so let me put sr and here we go and if I specify current encoding within that, you know, that property within the object, I get this, okay? So, uh, in many instances, a new object will be created in order to export data or pass it to another commandlet, okay? So, in this scenario, we have here, we have a new object, it's a variable, we have the function, we have the parameter, we want to do a PowerShell object. So this is something different. This is a PowerShell object. A PowerShell object is um, just something unique within PowerShell, but it, it will have multiple properties within that object. Okay, computer name, server, role, environment. Imagine um, each each of these uh, is a key, and then this is the value, okay? So it's like a key value pair, kind of like a hash, if you're familiar with that. So a new object equals new object type name. Let's run this, and then new object, and we have this. And remember, if you want to specify a property within that, you have server one, okay? So there are many ways of creating it. So this is kind of the same thing. It's just another way to create that object. Okay. It's going to be the same thing. It's another way to create the object. Okay. You want to add another object. Blah equals, let's do ping. Ping equals pong. Okay. Right. Understand? Okay. 1.74 if you already have an object, but you only need one or two extra properties. So this is really cool. Um, is if you need additional extra properties and you want it to be in the same object, well, let's look. If we do get child item, let's see what's available. This, I'm gonna do, this is, I haven't taught you this, or it's not covered yet, but I'm going to format it to a list so I can get just a list view. But look, let's look at the properties. So we have 
name. We have creation time, last write, last access, mode, link type, and target. Okay. Oh, whoa. So we have all that. Now, let's see. When you look here, they're adding some more properties. They're adding date time and they're adding property name. Okay, so we're adding two more properties to this object. We don't see it yet because I've I did not call it. I'm I'm piping the output to a to a list. Okay, so now let's run that command and look. You don't really see anything because right the it's the screen's not big enough to hold all the properties right in this kind of view. So we have to change our view. We'll do pipe fl for format list. Remember, it's an alias. So I could just do fl, or it's format list. Here we go. So you see, we selected the object. We specified the object before. Um, if you look, we got a lot. Right, creation time, last write access, all blah 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 blah. We we get everything. If I wanted this particular object, or I'm sorry, property, I can just add it up here. I can just say I want it. Where did I put it? Did this object full name right here? Maybe. Let's see. Okay. So yeah, yeah, I put it right there. Okay. Does that make sense? Because I put it, I'm specifying. So let's, if you look, get item, get child item, select objects. I want to select, I want to filter on, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. And then for date time, I want to actually get the date. And for property name, I want to get the expression. Okay. So again, daytime, I want to get this and then exp expression. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm selecting objects, but I'm also adding additional properties. Okay. And that's indicated by uh, the, you know, indicating your own key value pair of name and expression. Okay, just to show you, I'm going to add one myself. Okay, we'll add, we'll add one ourselves. We're going to call this PowerShell Playground. And we'll put hello. Simple as that, because I didn't put a comma. There we go. See? Got it? 